Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I make my simple and easy cornbread dressing. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to boil my chicken, which I already added four chicken thighs to my water, and I've added my chicken bouillon. So I'm going to let this cook until it's done and then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, now that my chicken is done, I'm going to remove it from the pot. I'm going to use the rest of this juice here to put into our dressing. I need to cut the meat off of the chicken, cut up my gizzards because I have some chicken gizzards in here as well. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to saute my veggies. If you're going to saute your veggies, your onion and your celery, I would recommend, if and red bell pepper if you're using that, I would recommend you saute it in some butter, okay? But if you want to do olive oil, you can. Okay, for the putting together of the dressing, you want to take your... You want to take your cornbread that you had cooling and go ahead and put it in a bowl or I'm doing crock pot dressing. So I'm just going to break it up in here. Okay, once you have it broken all the way up, I'm going to add in my meats. This is some gizzards that I cooked and chopped up, and I cooked them enough to get them tender. And that's all my chicken. Now, if I was gonna make a gravy with this this time, I would've saved part of my meat for my gravy. But I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm also gonna add in my sauteed veggies. And I'm gonna add in my cup of my roasted bell pepper. And you just wanna Mix that up like that. Get it mixed up real, real good. I have my blend of seasonings here. Again, for the full recipe, become a supporter for my page or you can just wait until the cookbook comes out which I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to have it completed. I am working on it. But being a supporter, you'll have instant access to my recipes that I post. And I'm going to add one can of my soup. I'm going to stir that in and just get that well blended in. Now this is the part that kind of becomes tricky because now you have to add in your broth. And some people don't know how wet it should be, you know, some, and everybody's different. Everybody's different, but you definitely want to wet it. You don't want it soggy, soggy, but you want it wet enough so that when it bakes, or if you're going to do yours in a crock pot like mine, when it cooks, you don't want it to dry out. So just keep that in mind. Add enough to where it's not soupy, but it's wet throughout that it won't dry out when it's cooking. Now, if you're mixing this in the bowl because you're planning on putting yours in the oven, all you would do is put it in your baking dish. Once it gets to the texture that you like of wetness, put it in the baking dish and um, you can choose to cover it or leave it uncovered. And you would bake it until it's done to your desired taste. I wouldn't bake it less than 45 minutes. So, this is how I'm going to do mine. Let me see so y'all can see. Sorry about that. So, you can see up close. So, I got all the stuff I need in there. I got all my seasonings. I got my everything I need. So, I'm going to crock pot mine or crock, yeah, cook mine, and I'll let um, you all know how long I keep it in there. I don't plan to keep it in there more than three hours. All right, I'll come back when I have the finished product. Okay, so the crock pot dressing is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on a plate so that I can taste it. it looks delicious. Come on, Lily, so they can see this deliciousness. Mm, it's nice and moist. And you can definitely cook it longer if you want. Or if you 
don't really need to cook it any longer. I cook the mine for the four hours. Okay. So y'all can see it. And I'm gonna have a bite. It's hot. Mmm. It is delicious, you all. This is an amazing, amazing recipe. Oh my goodness. If you try it, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. And you have a wonderful, blessed day.